they lived in a small house in a village and uh, um, somehow uh, there was this news that all the food would be taken out. And so um, there were two guards that were placed in front of the door and windows of the house, even so it was apparently a small house, and somehow through contacts they were able to convince one of these guys at the window to uh, allow some of the sacks with food to be taken out during the night. Né? And that's what my grandfather did at that time. So it was hidden, etc. But then the next day, when whatever commission came, they realized, they noticed that the window must have been taken out, etc. And so they confiscated all the stuff. All the, not just food, but also all the cutlery and even minor or smaller uh, furniture. So my mother, at that time, she was, what, 12, 10, 12. Uh, she grabbed one of these wooden uh, uh, tarilka plates, etc., and was running, in, in running away into the garden. And so somebody was chasing her, so she was running initially with this, and then she threw it in, in, in between whatever was growing there and started running with the hands <laughs> open, so that's where they stopped chasing her. So that was the only piece left after uh, this, uh, uh, let's say, what, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, what, what they took away. And then as a result of that, my grandfather was sent to Holodomor, uh, this Bilomor Canal somewhere.